वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू स्टिक डायग्राम ऑफ सी मॉस नैंड गेट इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट आई एक्सप्लेन यू द बेजिक स्टेप्स विच वी नीड टू फॉलो टू हैव अ स्टिक डायग्राम ऑफ एनी सी मॉस सर्किट सो फर्स्ट स्टेप दैट इज टू आइडेंटिफाई बुलियन इक्वेशन एंड वी शुड हैव बुलियन इक्वेशन एज पर कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर्म so see whatever function that is there along with entire bar that should be there so we should have boolean equation in terms of complement form first then in second step we need to have cmos circuit so based on boolean equation we can have cmos circuit of that boolean equation and at last we will be plotting stick diagram along with color code based on given cmos circuit so see these are the three step that we need to follow first we should be having boolean equation then based on that we should form cmos circuit and then with color code we can have stick diagram so here we are deal with to have cmos nand operation so if i have two inputs a and b then a dot b whole bar that will be my boolean equation so my boolean equation that is a dot b whole bar now we are deal with to have cmos circuit of it so to have cmos circuit there are two operations that we need to observe dot operation and plus operation when we talk about dot operation in that pmos transistors that is there in parallel and nmos transistors that is there in series while with plus means or operation pmos transistors that is there in series and nmos transistors that is there in parallel so that is how we need to have a connection of nmos and pmos now let me explain you the basic circuit which is there with cmos so when we talk about basic circuit of cmos then in that here we have vdd after that we have pull up network and in pull up network we have pmos transistors there can be many input after that we have pull down network and in pull down network we have nmos transistors there can be many input with that and here we have ground connection and output that we need to take in between pull up network and pull down network so this is the basic standard form which is there with cmos circuit formation now i'll explain you how we can form cmos circuit for y is equals to a dot b whole bar so here we have vdd as it is there with this now after that there should be pull up network and that should be made up of pmos now you see we have dot operation so for dot operation pmos should be there in parallel so here you see with a and b i am connecting pmos in parallel so this is what my pull up network with a dot b operation now i'll be having pull down network and that is made up of nmos and for dot operation nmos should be there in series so here with a and b i'm connecting nmos in series so this is my pull down network and output that we need to take in between pull up and pull down network so from here i'll be taking my output now i'll explain you how we can have a formation of stick diagram so in stick diagram first we should be having vdd and ground connection so you see on top layer we'll be having vdd and over here i'll be having ground let me mention that so it will be giving you clear visibility this is vdd and this is ground now here we need to have pmos connection and for pmos connection 
we should be having p type material and p type material that we need to have it along with vdd so over here i'll be having p type material and that should be there with yellow color you see by this yellow color i have p type material so i'm just mentioning this is my p type material after that you see here pull down network is there and pull down network that is made up of nmos and nmos is having n type material so here i should be having n type material and n type material color code is there with green color so this is n type material that we have by having green color so let me mention this is n type material now if you observe here we have two inputs input a and input b so we have out uh, input with respect to gate and gate is connected along with polysilicon layer so two inputs are there so two polysilicon layer that i should be having so see one polysilicon layer that i am connecting by red color polysilicon layer that we can have and this is my second polysilicon layer that is there with us where we can give input so this red color that is polysilicon layer and to which we will be giving input so here we have input a and here we have input b now for this entire circuit connection we should know what are the terminals which is there with pmos and nmos so with pmos upper terminal that should be source and lower terminal that should be drain see upper terminal that should be source and lower terminal that should be drain and for nmos upper terminal that should be drain and lower terminal that should be source for this nmos upper terminal should be drain and lower terminal that should be source so this is how source and drain connection is there with this pmos and nmos now you see here we have pmos a and here we have pmos b and here we have nmos a and here we have nmos b so as if we talk about pmos then here we have pmos a in that you see source and drain both are connected to each other so if i say i have source over here and drain over here with this pmos a and here we have drain and source so you see this drain are connected with each other and source that we need to connect it with each other and that should be connected with vdd right so see that connection that we need to have by black color and cross symbol so this source that is connected with vdd so pmos a is having source that should be connected with vdd so by cross i should be connecting that with vdd and this source of pmos b by cross i am connecting it along with vdd right now let us see what happens with nmos a and nmos b so if you see nmos a then source of nmos a that is connected with drain of nmos b so this is nmos a where if i say this is source so this should be drain and if i say this is nmos b so source is connected with drain of nmos b so here there should be drain so here there will be source right now if you observe this is nmos b in that source is connected with ground so by this cross symbol i should be connecting source with ground now if you observe drain of nmos a that is connected with drain of pmos a and b right so here drain of nmos a that is connected with drain of pmos a and b so here pmos drain that is there so i should be connecting this like this right and we take output from this terminal so here we will be taking output so here color code is like this you see vdd and ground that should be there by blue color yellow color that is there with p type diffusion so p type diffusion that should be there along with vdd green color that is there with n type diffusion so that should be there along with ground 
red color that is there with polysilicon layer so based on number of inputs we should connect polysilicon layer vertically like this with red color and give input to it after that we need to see source and drain terminal connection with circuit and as per that we should connect by cross symbol black color provides connection as you can see it in this figure so this is how stick diagram that is there with CMOS NAND gate I hope that you have understood this video I'll explain you one more video in which we will have a bit more complex circuit so that will resolve your understanding furthermore. Thank you so much for watching this video.